Yeah, so my dad went to go see him in Oklahoma and uh, you know, spent a couple of days with, with him. And then he came and to regret the... it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like, it's, it's, it's serious. I mean, it's got, you know, my, my, he spent some time with my dad, you know, four hours just picking his brain. And, you know, uh, how do you say this in Italian the, the right way? And, and very, very particular of how to research somebody. It, it was pretty fascinating to hear secondhand. Uh, but yeah, it, it was, it, it's unbelievable, man. I mean, I picture myself every day. I'm here in my hometown of Chicago, going to a home screening with De Niro and my family and friends. I mean, come on. I, I left here in 1998. And if you would have told me I'd be doing this in 2023, I would have told you you're nuts. Well, Salvo was great. Uh, he was uh, a big help, obviously, and it was just so good to have a real person. I always like to work when I can off of a, a real person, either the real, per the actual person or a person who knows that world, whatever world that is. So Salvo was great, and Sebastian and Nora Teruso, who's Italian-American, they all know, they're all from that, they get it. There's no, you know, there's no going to do something that is a cliche or something. It's all based on, in, in a, a solid reality. So out of that, the comedy, when it's there coming out, especially Italians, it's, it's you know it's coming from a real place. So that, that made mm -hmm. it fun. I just learned a lot about acting, a lot about doing, you know, it's funny, I didn't even tell you this, and I don't know if you've ever had a problem with this. Recently, I was in a TV show and I had to drive, uh, drive the car and say the lines and it was ext <clears throat> extremely hard for me to like pull o pulling over to a curb while acting I, I i can't do two things at once in life <laughs> let alone not in, in, in acting so watching him you know he was doing a lot of business on the film he was packing he was doing you know whatever he was doing even putting on socks or what 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 have you and uh, generally speaking i would just it previously just hit the mark, say the lines and not really do anything. But I found like once you start doing an activity, it's a lot more interesting for the viewer to to watch somebody. It's, it's like it's like a real life, you know, it's like, well, he's drinking a beer or he's eating nachos while he's uh, you know talking. That's stuff we all do. And uh, that's kind of what I learned. I knew that it's a real story based up Base, it's anything that's in it is based on something he either thought of or but it's connected again as I said to reality it's, and the foundation is so strong so that to me is always going to be interesting having Laura there uh, and meeting Salvo himself that was all all, all solid so and that I know that we would I knew that we'd be okay and he understood if I did something or I had lived something that he'd get it and go back about being a comedian and especially we'd be okay so I this is worth doing I just want to say one thing when I was directing Bronx Tale speaking about doing different activities I was driving a bus with a whole rig down a street a few blocks in, in Queens where we had to worry about, I had to worry about hitting the trees with the rigging above the bus. I had a video here of looking at what the actor was talking to me, plus myself. He was having a little trouble with the lines. Plus I was driving the thing, I was doing those four things at once. I was even amazed at myself, and that's why I say that. Okay. He's yeah. bragging again. <laughs> Tapping your belly and ribbing your head. <laughs>